Mother-in-law ruined the baby shower and refuses to speak to me. My mother-in-law has a tendency to make everything about her, and if she doesn't get her way, she throws a tantrum. But around July, I visited my family back home for a week with my husband and I got very little sleep. The day after we got back, we were supposed to visit his family on vacation. I was in my second trimester of pregnancy and was battling hyperemesis and serious fatigue. I didn't feel well, so I didn't go, but my husband went. I thought it'd be good for him to see his brothers. His mom complained to him about me not being there and complained about how I visited my family, who I hadn't seen in four years due to circumstances, mind you, and was fine. My husband was livid, reminded her that I'm carrying his child and had been running on four hours of sleep a day when I was with my family. He told her to stop it or he'd leave. She didn't, so he left to come home and just be with me. My mom tried planning the baby shower with my mother-in-law, but she didn't seem interested at all. So my mom planned it with my sister who paid for everything. My mom invited my mother-in-law who refused to come, but my father-in-law and brother-in-laws wanted to. I love my father-in-law and brother-in-laws, so I was excited. His mom changed her mind the week before the shower. They came over to our apartment for the first time this weekend, which wasn't planned in advance. We received a text around 11 saying they'd be at our place at 1. My mother was with me since we were going to get her nails done before the shower which we booked months in advance. They all walked in and I said hello and then noticed they were still wearing their shoes. My husband and I have a strict no shoes in the house policy so I just pointed it out to him privately and he asked everyone to take off their shoes and put them by the door. Mother-in-law took them off, with attitude, and left them on the carpet for my husband to pick up. At that point, my mom and I had to leave to make it to the appointment on time. If we were late, they'd charge my sister's card the full amount of what we were planning on getting done. My husband explained this to his family before they came inside the apartment and again as we were leaving. Apparently after I left, she went into my son's room and started searching through the drawers, without permission. When my husband asked if she touched anything in the drawers, she got upset and basically said she was entitled to rummage through his room because she bought him some socks. My husband kicked her out of the room. I should add that we had a baby furniture item on a registry that she wanted to get off of eBay and not our registry site. She told my husband this, who told her not to purchase it until he cleared it with me. I said no because we've ordered things from eBay and parts have been missing, the item was damaged even though the seller marked it as new, and I wanted to make sure the item would be okay for safe sleeping. Mother-in-law bought it anyways without waiting to hear what I said, because she wanted to, then was furious when my husband told her to return it. Anyways, we arrive at the shower and I say hi to everyone. His mother did not address me the entire night, was being disrespectful to my mother, who's been nothing but nice to her by inviting her for brunch numerous times, didn't participate in any discussions, and kept going on her phone. No one else was on their phone. It was obvious she was upset. She even talks to my husband's friend that she hates. My husband and one of his brothers pick up on this. I end up walking out to cry and my mom came to comfort me until I felt okay enough to walk back in. The night ends and she says bye to my mom, who was sitting next to me, and literally purposely says bye to me last after noticing that my husband, sister and parents were staring her down. The whole day, she said two things to me, hi and bye. My husband walked them to the car and they had a fight. She complained about me asking them to take off their shoes and about how I didn't visit them on vacation, how I left shortly after they arrived, etc, etc. Mind you, this woman has called me twice in seven months and has maybe started a text conversation with me three times. I texted her that night telling her, respectfully, how it is and how her behavior is concerning since heaven forbid something happened to my son while she's watching him. I have zero faith she'll call me and will instead only call my husband. I also informed her that I'm trying to make this work for her son's sake and for her grandson's sake, but that I won't put up with her tantrums. She read my text, didn't respond, then proceeded to complain to my husband and demand he moves back home. He came home glad that they left. I told him I don't want his mother seeing our son until she addresses me and addresses what I texted her. He agreed. What his mom doesn't know is that I'll most likely be induced in two weeks. So we asked his father and brothers, who don't talk to her, to get their Tdap and flu shots ASAP so they can see our son when he's here. They agreed, and we've all left her out of the loop. That should buy us at least two weeks. We're having people wait two weeks after getting the vaccines before they visit. First reaction comes from Responsible Stick 50. You can't fix her crappy personality. Don't even bother trying. She needs to be banned from seeing your son. She literally just tried to get him to leave you right before the baby was born. Think about that. She wanted you to be abandoned while you're super pregnant. She's the sludge left over in a dumpster. 
Our next thought comes from Angry Spiteful Dwarf. Even if you could fix it, it's not your responsibility to. Your mother-in-law is the one being rude and mean to you. You don't need to deal with her. She should apologize to you. Aggravating Law 1315 wanted to chime in with, I don't think there's anything to fix. She clearly is awful to you. I wouldn't want a person like that in my life or my child's life. Your partner can set the boundaries that she has to stick to if you both plan on letting her meet your son. I honestly don't see how your child will benefit having a grandparent that treats one parent like garbage. Last comment before moving on comes from OCIC Ataco. Making things work for your husband's and your son's sake does not mean you let this woman treat you like crap without consequences. Do you really want your baby to be left with some old hag who clearly doesn't like you and disrespects and talks crap about you? Imagine the things she'd say to your own child once they're old enough to understand. The rest of the family seems happy to cut her off. Follow their lead. On to the next story. With update. Manipulative mother-in-law. Warning. Long post. Sorry in advance. My boyfriend and I have been dating for one year, six months, and discussing getting engaged pretty soon. I have dealt with his mom's excessive behavior for longer than that. Talking stage. It would all start with rude comments like constantly asking me why I wasn't on birth control, and... What the heck do I plan on doing if I get pregnant because I'm in school? Mind you, she said this in front of her son, and he didn't say anything. She knew he was upset, but from that moment, she would continue to treat me like crap. She then got sick and wanted my advice on what to do because I'm a nurse, but if it wasn't what she wanted to hear, she would just hang up in my face. My last straw was when my boyfriend got into a car accident and his grandmother asked if it was because him and I got into it. Then, his mom started asking me constantly if it was my fault. I then decided to speak up for myself. I know that this was a very tricky emotional time, but I did explain to her that it pissed me off that she constantly keeps asking if it's my fault. I then told her to re-evaluate how she has also done her son. Due to money he makes, she expected him to pay her mortgage bills and other things she still could not afford. And when he would say no, she'd call him selfish. So I told her she could not play the blame game when she has not always been as supportive. She likes to control his life, and mine if she can. I was not allowed to help her through the medical process needed for my boyfriend after his accident because she said I'm just his girlfriend and that is her son so I have no say so. He was not in need of medical treatment by the way, I was just trying to help her with getting his paperwork together. Other family members know that she can be controlling at times so they were upset with her. After returning home from the hospital, I could not look at her the same because she constantly tried to play the victim to her son and never admitted when she talks to me like crazy. So after the hospital and returning to our home state, she knew her son was moving in with me, and she would say slick comments about how they should stay at home with her and that it's not fair I have his car title at my apartment. He wanted it there because she hid it from him before. I honestly held a grudge against her because she won't allow me to start stepping up and being the woman in his life that has his back also. Now all hell is broken loose because a month or two ago, I went to her house to talk to her woman to woman one night and explain to her that she needs to stop this behavior. She would not open the door for me, so I called her and told her I needed to speak with her. After that, she texted me and him and just said, Y'all working out? And I responded and said, No, I need to talk with you. She never responded to the message because she clearly knew she had done something wrong. The backstory on why I went there to talk to her was because there was a girl that used to come over to his mom's house that was obsessed with my relationship with my boyfriend, and I figured out it was because they used to talk a lot and she had feelings for him. During that time, I would talk with his mom about it and how it made me uncomfortable, so she asked me if she could text the other girl and I told her no, and that I could handle it. But then later that day, she tried to play superhero and told the girl not to come back to her house and not to talk to her son anymore because it may ruin our relationship. I explained to her that that wasn't her place to do that, and the reason I went to her house upset was because that same girl she told him not to talk to got into an accident and she would show him pictures of her and how he should help her. Him and I were broken up, so she was definitely being petty. I found out she has been talking about me to him through text. I did tell him that this makes me unhappy because he did not say anything to her about it, which continues to allow her to be rude towards me. I decided to talk with her a few nights ago through FaceTime, and it all went bad because she blamed everything on me and said I'm disrespectful and that her son is her son. I let things cool off and texted her the next day, just explaining that I'd like to be a part of the conversation if it has something to do with me or our relationship, because it's not fair to me. She then flips the script and said, I'm petty, and I better not dare ruin her relationship with her son, and that she is fine if I never come around again, then proceeded to badmouth my relationship with my mom that she knows nothing about. 
I never texted her back after that because I know I would have been really ugly and spiteful, but that's not my character. I don't know what to do because my boyfriend has a hard time sticking up for me and babying her because he doesn't like confrontation. Update. Update from my last post about my mother-in-law. Please go back and read my previous post to understand. We ended up talking to her face to face to see if things could be resolved. The moment we sat down to talk to her, she started stating, this will be the last time we talk about this. And also telling her son that he was just reiterating his text message, trying to make it seem like there was no point in us talking to her about the situation. My boyfriend finally started sticking up for me, I guess, but he did tell her that she has been talking to me disrespectfully and that she is wrong for that. His mom just kept giving dry, I apologize comments to me and that she is sorry she hurt my feelings. During the conversation with his mom, she would say, I want us all to be in love and we should all be in this circle together. I then stopped her and explained to her that wasn't necessary because him and I will be married one day and she won't be married to us also. She then starts changing the subject, victimizing, saying, that's my baby, he's my only son, blah blah stuff. He clearly will never see his mom's true actions. Things have been semi-peaceful since the conversation and she knows not to continue to push my buttons, but even after talking with her about me trying to be more of a woman in his life, she then proceeded to say that she wants to renew his license for him so he doesn't have to do it, and he just keeps letting her baby him. I also don't think I mentioned in my last post that I blocked his mom on Facebook because I have really bad anxiety and I've gotten so tired of her constant posts about her son, she continuously will post about him and how she will always have his back and no one can replace her. I just couldn't keep seeing the post every other day or week because it's annoying and plus I'm tired of her being fake towards me so I decided to go on a no contact with her. Is that wrong? She mentioned to me that I blocked her and how I didn't have a right to do that. Now that things are better, am I supposed to add her back as a friend? Also, my boyfriend's older sister, whom I was kind of close with, just stopped talking to me. Why? I don't know. She unadded me on Facebook, and when I texted her to apologize for whatever I did and how I didn't want animosity between his family and I, she never texted back. But mind you, his sister and mom are totally best friends, and if one person feels some type of way, then so will the other. I'm just tired of trying to defend my name constantly. My best friend told me to stop texting them and work on my relationship with my boyfriend because at the end of the day, I don't owe his mom or sister anything and they will always reside with each other because they're family. Our first observation comes from Grimster. And he keeps just letting her baby him. And there in the middle of your post is the real problem. He likes being babied, sounds like to me. And that's the main problem. You can ignore his mom and sister and just not talk to them. I've been with my wife 30 years now and I talk to her mother maybe once a month for like a minute or two and we see her every few months. She lives 7 miles away from us. Until your boyfriend starts cutting those apron strings, that is going to be your problem in your relationship since that allows his mother into the relationship. Reliant20 has the next thought. This will be the last time we talk about this. Not her decision to make. During the conversation with his mom, she would say, I want us all to be in love and we should all be in a circle together. I then stopped her and explained to her that wasn't necessary because him and I will be married one day and she won't be married to us also. Yep, you put it perfectly and should be proud. He just keeps letting her baby him. Well, that's a thing you need to take a good long look at. My best friend told me to stop texting him and work on my relationship with my boyfriend because at the end of the day, I don't owe his mom or sister anything and they will always reside with each other because they're family. Your friend's right. You handed his sister power when you messaged to apologize. Live and learn. As long as your boyfriend can be an adult and set boundaries with them, the million dollar question at the moment, they don't matter. Thanks for tuning in to the Sire. If you enjoyed today's content, smash that like button. Subscribe for more unique insights. Catch you in the next one.